Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Stickbot channel. And in today's video, I'll be showing you the speed paints for uh, me and my friends as, in our Halloween costumes. Now, first up is me, Goose Hamlin. That's other also known as that Stickbot channel, and plenty of other names. I go by a lot of different aliases on the internet alone, let alone real life. Uh, but I'm just gonna talk about me dressed up as Jack Skellington from my second favorite Disney movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I just watched it, and man, I loved it. Now, I'm not even talking about the animation. Like, the animation alone would have sold me on it. But this, mm, top notch. So, I decided to dress up as him for Halloween, and most likely would have in real life if I cared about trick-or-treating. Uh, but anyway, first off, he has some sort of vest going on, and I don't know what's underneath it. I think it's called a pinch stripe thing. That's it. That's all I know. Uh, but, uh, for the lines, I decided that I would use a black base and then use my eraser tool to, uh, to go over them. Uh, to, to make the, all the lines. Now, first off, I want to let you know, I didn't cheap out. I didn't just take a bunch of white lines and go across the whole figure and erase wherever it showed, like, uh, when it, wherever it went out. You know, boom, bam, done. No, I made sure that the lines made sense, uh, in context of the figure. And I worked really hard on that. Now, if it was a real figure, I, I mean, in context, if it was a real figure. Which is also why some bits don't get detail, and other bits do. Because in real life, if I made a custom, those parts wouldn't get detail. Which is the whole point of these. These are just 2D customs, pretty much. Now, I why I didn't make this into a real custom is pretty simple. I'm not going to waste the whole figure on a one-time use. Because it will probably just be used for, of course, Halloween, uh, this, uh, PlayStation notification. And, and my Halloween special. So, I just didn't. You know, I just didn't. Now, plus I didn't even have them on me. And when I decided to do this, the shipping time probably wouldn't have been ideal for for making a whole custom. Because, you know, I put a lot of effort into customs. And making three customs with some 3D detail within, like, a week? Yeah, and that's, that's, that's a no-go. That's, no. Mm -mm. I don't know, maybe next year. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll do it next year. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, there's not too much to talk about for this. It's really just really tedious, and it took longer than I expected. So, uh, keep in mind, I did cut out a lot, like, the sketching part at the beginning. Uh, I did that for most of these in this video, because I was running out of time. Now, for this one, I had a hard time getting my eyes. I don't know why they're my eyes. Keep in mind, this is me, not... I get this. Uh, I got this uh, before. It's not Miles Morales. It's just, I have a, a shirt... The favorite, my favorite shirt is a Miles Morales shirt that I got. That's it's really lightweight, it's breathable. I wear it to the pool all the time. It's a nice shirt. I lost it, so I put that on my figure. It's not Miles Morales. It's me. So then I got the eyes, and then I did, I did Jack the stitches in Jack Skellington's mouth. I don't think they're meant to be stitches. I think they're meant to be teeth, like you know, because he is a skeleton, a skeleton, a skeleton. Now, I decided to make my skin. My normal skin color as a stick bot because I didn't want to seem like it was just Jack Skellington with purple eyes. Oh, my voice just cracked. So, and also in real life, the face paint would probably irritate my skin. So, you know, if, if this was really me, it makes sense that I decided to cut it out. And I think it shows that it's me and it works as my profile picture. Anyway, I just did the same erasing technique on the bat to bow tie. Or not bow tie, but the tie. Now, next up is Rick Salentino, one of my original characters. Uh, also known as the Stickbot Minecraft Hybrid, has a really cool story I can't wait to make a video on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he decided, I decided it would make sense for him to be Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. Also, I forgot his eyebrow. His monobrow thing, which is pretty iconic and I'd say is important to tra hope, help translate this into Rick. But, yeah, I, again, I need help on the eyes. Um, but I'd say Rick is, is definitely the least unique out of the three of us, Meager and Stickbot and Rick. But I definitely want to put a lot of effort into his, you know, uh, artwork. Be and, uh, I, I cut out, uh, like I said, I cut out me drawing this, the base of the figure, of the sketches. Because, I mean, it's just really boring and, and his was tough because I couldn't get the hair the way I wanted it to look. If you're wondering why he has the Elytra... Like, his character can't take off the elytra. It's really confusing. So I just, you know, it makes sense for him to have the elytra on. Now, here's the bungee in his neck, which you should are supposed to see. Now, I had trouble getting his color because he's a glitter, translucent stick bot. Yeah, I just couldn't get his color, so I gave up. And then pretty much what I did was I went over the bungee cord to make it not, a, like, not so appear apparent, but you can still see it. 
see it, which is a good deal, so I'm glad I added. Now, next up, my Instagram profile picture, and one that I really like. Um, your boy, Green Stickbot, yay. Now, for him, I decided that he should be a green character. That's probably going to be his kind of thing for his Halloween costumes. Um, so I made him Lloyd Garmadon from Season 8 of Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu, my favorite show. I worked really hard on the mask alone, let alone all the other details, and I love this figure so much because of all of the details you just don't pay attention to. I respect the team behind the Lego Ninjago character suits so much because they put so much unnecessary detail into them, and it's just insane because I just, I just really respect it, so I put my, my own fair amount of detail into this. Now, I decided that the little grooves in it, there will be grooves, but they will be, uh, they'll be dark green, and they'll be filled in with dark green. I didn't want them to be black outlines. Anyway, I did Lloyd's symbol on his uh, bandana thing. And uh, if you want, I was going to make a sword, but I did a horrible job translating it. And I was running out of time because I had a deadline to meet when I was making these. And I missed the deadline by like three days, so I just skipped over it. And then one thing I knew I wasn't going to skip was his uh, shorter piece, which on my figure is actually a 3D detail stuck to his arm. I don't use the neck attachments. And I realized that if I made it scale to the figure, it would be really small. And when I made it really long, it didn't look right. So I went with the uh, long, not looking right option. Again, I definitely should have put more time into these. And I shouldn't have been as lazy. Because I missed my deadline for this. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, here's the main, I guess, sort of belt on the uh, ninja robe. Uh, and I missed a, an outline, so I had to redo that. But... Yeah, I made sure that all the details crossed over nicely, which I think they definitely did. And now, doing the Lloyd's, Lloyd's symbol. Here, let me grab the figure so I can explain these better. Yeah, Lloyd has these weird symbols on his sort of belt. I don't know what it is, but I, I put them on there. I put all of them on there. They look weird, but I think I definitely translated them over well. Like, if you look at a Lloyd from Season 8 figure, you'll definitely see where the effort, like, I, how much effort I put into this. Now, I made sure that the lines, again, lined up the way I want them to. Here, because there's another belt going off to the side. And I'm not quite sure what these things were, but I decided I would use Lloyd's little diamond with an arrow underneath it for it, which I think was a good choice. I think that worked well, because if you look at the figure, it's just so small. When you zoom in, it just gets blurry. I didn't know what that was, so I, I tried to translate the best I could, and I think this ends up looking pretty nice. Uh, anyway, now I am working on the gray belt, uh, there, and again, because I pretty much just copy and paste it. No, I didn't actually copy and paste. You can see me drawing this, but I looked at my Lloyd figure, I looked at the screen, and I drew. That's, that's the mentality I have for this. So, it was, it was surprisingly easy, but it was definitely still pretty hard. Now, of course, the ninja gloves, yeah, I had to do those. Because Lloyd still wore gloves at this point. Now I'm doing the uh, the the ropes, not ropes. The the wraps or belts on the knees. Of course, because the stance he has, they do look pretty weird. Uh, if I thought, I probably should have thought about the stance as I was looking at the figure. Now the wrinkles. A fair amount of these wrinkles come from the figure. But as you know, on the sides of Lego figures, there's no printing, so the the wrinkles on the side were completely my choice. Now I did the little, again, the, the diamonds with the arrows, and then I continued the detail up on the shoulder, which I actually don't do on customs, I should have thought about that, but then now I filled in the gray for, I don't know, whatever is underneath his ninja suit, and then that was just a reference color that I used so I could get the color um, for this part. Uh, this part, um, I only, I'm only leaving this part in because I mentioned it on Instagram that you would see this. Lloyd has this green pattern on his suit, and I it could just be me being bad at translating it, but when I did it, it looked like scales. And I don't mean like the character from Ninjago, I mean it looked like Lloyd had scales on his suit. Okay. So, after taking a look at it, I got rid of all of them. I didn't like it. It turned out bad, so I got rid of the rest. 
Sorry for all the people. I, I like it's not me being lazy. I put in the effort. I just didn't like the way it looked. Now the arms have like no detail other than the shoulder piece, and because Ninjago figures very rarely ever have arm printing, let alone dual molded arms. I think there have been arm printing for Ninjago figs in the past, but it's more more likely they got dual molded arms. And then now just finishing touches like the bungee cord and the face, and I did all of those, finished it up, and then now. Just some of the wrinkles, which definitely could have come out better, especially those two at the top. But I did want to show that I put in the effort of adding the wrinkles that are in the mask. So, if you look at it, again, if you look at a Lloyd figure, you can probably see where the uh, mask details came from. So I filled in the, uh, the little green parts, because the fill part wouldn't work. It's, it's The software is kind of complicated. So I just cut it in. Still looks pretty good. Uh, and then I, I make sure to touch up on the lines. Um, then that's it. Now, as me and Green, now it's me and Green Stickbot as Little Among Us guys. Now these screenshots are taken straight from the game, and I had to pretty much try my best to translate the Green Stickbot as an Among Us guy. Now I had a hard time getting the color to work, so as you'll see in a second. What I did was I took, like, yeah, as you can see, I'm having a hard time figuring it out. And that's also just because I haven't used the software in a while. I was thinking about doing it this way, and I ended up not doing it that way. So, uh, what I did once I found the right tool, uh, what I eventually decided to do was I would take the defining green outline and then add the light green, uh, I mean the darker green outline, and then add the light green afterward, which was a definitely a good choice. Glad I did that. <clears throat> it's much better than what I was originally gonna do. Now I just have to add all of Green Stickbot's details. Now the arms and like shoulder details just didn't happen because of course they don't have really have shoulders. And Green Stickbot has a lot of scars. Again, the original character, completely my first ever Stickbot. And back then, what I thought looks cool: belts, straps, and scars. <laughs> so you know that always this design's always been that way. And then because he has normal eyes, I made sure that the visor stayed the original color of the game. And that's pretty much it. Now on to me. This one I had way more creative liberty with because it's me. Dang it, if you don't stop inviting me. I, I'm not going to play Fortnite with you. Sorry, I'm getting PlayStation notifications. Stop! I'm recording a video. Um, I'm just going to ignore them. Anyway, and I'm going to yell at him for interrupting my recording. So I did the same thing for him. Now, the reason I picked black is because there's no gray and black kind of looks like dark gray. So then I did the outline thing again, uh, but I just, the outline was more defined this time. Then I filled it in. Then I did the light gray part <coughs> up there. Well, was, again, it, it is black. So now I colored in my visor purple because my eyes are purple. And then I, uh, I drew my shorts. Then I drew my flip-flops. Yes, I know. I wear a jacket and flip-flops in my design just because these are all clothes that I like to wear. My favorite pair of flip-flops, they're blue and green. And then my pair, favorite pair of shorts... I'm wearing them actually right now. They're blue. And my favorite jacket. And then my favorite shirt. And, okay, you know, one second. Uh, <laughs> let me stop the recording real quick. Uh, anyway, I'm back. Sorry about that little rant. This this person uh, kept trying to get me to play Fortnite. And they spammed uh, invites to me. So I don't know if you guys heard it. But I took care of it. Anyway, so the fill thing wasn't working. Instead of just coloring it in because the, it wouldn't work. Again, the software I'm using. So I had to erase... All of the uh, the gray parts, because it was such a dark color, I think that they read it as an outline, so I couldn't fill. Uh, so I erased it, I filled, and I, I even if I was coloring it, it wouldn't appear against the, the dark gray. So there's that. Uh, so here I am. You know, I'm just erasing. Uh, uh, that's that's my that's my neck uh, making noises. So I filled that in. And, uh, I just took this straight from my actual figure, which, you know what, I'll get him too, he's right here. Hey, little me, it's me, but I'm little. Uh, I pretty much translate all the details over from my official figure, which, uh, if you want to see a showcase of him, well, one, you can just watch one of my videos, I'm in a bunch of my own videos. And two, uh, thousand subs, get me to a thousand subs and I'll make a showcase of myself, because that's how I celebrate, I use myself. <coughs> but... Yeah, now you can just kind of 
just kind of see me erasing the pack. Now, I noticed in the game, the clothes don't wrap around the little air tank thing, backpack thing, but I did that, and I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, now I just filled in, and I cleaned up the lines for it. You know, I did a little gray, because I don't know how to get metallic colors to work yet, so I, I filled in the little gray bit for my uh, zipper. Now I'm just coloring in where my shirt is going to go. Yeah, I sp <coughs> my Spider-Man Miles Morales shirt. And I probably should have paid attention to how this would work, but I made kind of almost a ch I don't want to say chibi, but like a little small, cutest kind of version of Mom Mor Miles Morales' spider logo suit thing. Uh, looking at the my own figure as reference instead of the actual Miles Morales shirt that I have, let alone his actual suit. Could have looked better. Wait, no, actually, I kind of like the way it's turned out. What am I talking about? Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> I, I, um, yeah, sure, I should have paid attention more to, like, the actual suit or my shirt. But I lost the shirt. So, yeah, and I think this uh, definitely turned out pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then pretty much I just filled it in red. And, um, that's it. All right, then I cleaned up the lines on my uh, little purple visor. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. But first off, I need to let you know about something important. This is Awesome Animations and more. I've collabed with him in the past, and he's a pretty good YouTuber. As you can see, he's at 258 subscribers. But if you go to my channel, it's been blowing up recently, and we're at 255. We need to beat him to 300. We're, we're currently in, like, a little, a little warm. I'm trying to beat him to 300. And anyway, he's a great YouTuber. I feel like you should subscribe to him after I reach 300 subscribers. Anyway, um... Do all the stuff below. Follow me on Instagram. Keep on hungry with some sandwiches. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.